Yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you this insane split screen effect. I'm going to show you guys right here. Right here on screen, as you can see, it looks absolutely fire. Pretty simple to make. It's just some masking and some effects on top of it. I'm going to break everything down in this video and show you exactly how to do it so you can throw it into your next music video. So without further ado, let's not waste any more time. Top into the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. So let's do it, boys. All right. So instead of After Effects, I have my clips lined up right here. As you can see, the first clip and then these two clips stacked on top of each other and the last clip. And if I were to just move this, as you can see, there's a clip right there. So what we're going to do is begin masking. You can just click the little tool up here and just start clicking around and masking out the subject. Really doesn't have to be perfect at all. Next, what you're going to do is click this little arrow, open up masks, and you're going to play with the mask feather. Bring up the feather a ton so there is no harsh line between the two clips and you're going to play with the position and move it all the way to the side and i do believe the feather is a bit too hard so i'm going to go back to masks and i'm going to open that up and i'm going to play with the mask expansion and bring that down and now i'm going to click p on the other clip and i'm going to drag that to the left so we have this split screen going on and i do believe the uh, feather is still a bit too hard so i'm just going to move that one out a bit more and i'm going to go back to the mask and i'm going to bring down the feather and just like that is perfect as you can see we have the entire baseline pretty much done and now it's all about adding effects to it so we're going to add a curves effect to the top layer right here so the masked layer and what you want to do inside of curves is basically just copy the curve that i'm doing or just do a simple s curve next you're going to add this effect called minimax which is a super cool effect and we're going to make the radius something like uh five i think five looks pretty good and we're going to throw that on top of curves. And then you can tweak the curves a bit more to kind of make the minimax stand out. And next, you're going to come and add an effect called VR glow. And if you don't have that, that's okay. You can use regular glow. You're going to get almost the same result. So right here, we're going to play around with the glow radius and the luma threshold till we get this kind of like blown out look. And we're going to throw on an overlay. I'm going to leave this one in the description below if you guys do want to use this exact one for your video. I think this one looks super cool. So with this overlay, what we're going to do is just drag it right on top of our two clips right here. And we're just going to bring it to the side right here onto the right side of the clip. Scale that. Up. and we're going to go to our masked clip we're going to click m to bring up the mask and we're just going to copy and paste that onto the overlay pretty simple done and now what we're going to do is just move that we're over gonna right click go to blending mode and make that screen so now we have this like super cool fire electrical overlay going on here on the right side looks super cool and we're just going to cut that up to match our clip and now selecting the bottom layer which is the left clip we're going to be adding two effects we'll be adding a hue and saturation and a brightness and contrast as you guys are going to see this is going to look super cool what we're going to do first is keyframe the channel range brightness and contrast right here at the beginning you're going to come all the way right here to the end you're gonna make the master saturation negative 100 you're going to bring the brightness up and the contrast up as well so we get this really cool deep black and white look so as you can see looks super fire and we might even bring that in so the effect just comes in quicker and we can see it more since this transition is pretty short but this looks super fire already. And now we're gonna throw on an adjustment layer and we're gonna make that adjustment layer one frame long and we're gonna duplicate that. And we're gonna be adding the energy V3 framers to this to just up the impact and make it hit 10 times more. So inside of energy V3, you're just gonna come over here and open up the framers folder. We're gonna grab underexpose and throw it onto the first adjustment layer right here. Then we're gonna grab crazy one, throw it onto the second one. And for the third one, we're gonna use evil curse, which is my favorite one. And when you play that through, Boom, instant impact looks super fire. And we're gonna add a shake to kind of just spice everything up and make the transition actually feel alive and not so dull. So we're gonna come into the transitions here inside of Energy V3. We're gonna apply quick shake and to make it hit even harder, we're gonna add another adjustment layer right here. And we're gonna come over to the best shake in here. Or actually, let's do Earthquake 2. Let's do Earthquake 2, that'll be fire. And we're gonna drag that out right before the transition hits. So as you can see, the impact starts right before the actual transition starts and we get this beautiful shake effect during the split screen effect which looks super super cool it adds a ton of impact and with these framers it really just it's like the cherry on top it just looks way better we got so much impact like with the shake it's already pretty impactful but with the framers it just adds so much more to this transition I think it looks beautiful. So that is pretty much it for this tutorial. If you do want to grab the overlay, it'll be linked down in the description on my Google Drive, completely free for you to grab. And if you do want to grab Energy V3 as well, I'm hooking you guys up with a discount. You can use code ENERGY and it'll instantly discount $5 at checkout. You can either use that for Energy V3, Energy V2, Energy V1, or if you want to step up and grab the whole bundle, the discount code works for the bundle as well. But you might want to grab that as fast as possible because the bundle price is going to go up on Sunday. It is currently at $77 and the price will go up to the original price of 117 so you don't want to miss out on this crazy deal this pack has completely changed the way i edit so if you want to step up your visuals and become a better editor you know what to do first link down below and i'll catch you guys next time have a great day peace